Hi, Mark Gordon with GoldenTicker.com on Thursday, May the 30th, 2013, and let's take a hard look at gold. Uh, back here in 2004, uh, we were in the $400 range here, uh, built this kind of nice uh, base on base pattern here, and then broke out of that in um, uh, late uh, 05 and ran up to $728 and then had a nice correction here. <coughs> it was a 17 month long cup, 22.5% correction, a very healthy correction to digest this previous move here. And then in uh, late uh, 2007, uh, we broke out of uh, 692.50 uh, and into 2008, we ran up uh, past $1,000 an ounce. That was a big, a big celebration for the gold uh, bugs here and uh, <coughs> got up to uh, uh, almost uh, $1,100. And uh, then we pulled back uh, all the way back down to 681, uh, getting back into this base area here. Very healthy correction here. Uh, that was a 19 month long base here, 34% correction in 19 months. Okay, then we broke out of that, uh <coughs> that range there and uh, now moved up and hit a high of 19, 23 and 70 cents <clears throat> and now we're sitting in a correction here so far this correction is 21 months long 21 months long um, still not the longest correction but it's not over yet um, still not the deepest correction but that's not over yet either uh, we came down to 13 21 50 for a 31.3 percent correction so far uh, one thing you'll notice here is that this has been the nastiest correction chart wise if you look at uh, the breach of moving averages, uh, this black dotted line is the 40-month moving average, which has held all the way through uh, this massive up move uh, uh, for the last 10 years. And uh, uh, but uh, we have broken through that this year, and are now trading below that. So this is this is a uh, technically a the worst uh, a correction that we've had uh, in the gold. Uh, so far, uh, we're below this red line here, uh, which is the four-month moving average, which has uh, provided overhead resistance as we've come down here. And you'll notice that this blue line, which is the 10-month moving average, is looks like it's rolling over. So chart-wise, uh, nothing really to be uh, excited about uh, 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 for the gold bugs here. Uh, the good news is that these steep corrections uh, have always uh, met with new highs. So uh, it has paid to buy uh, the, the, the pullbacks here and, uh, and wait for it to go up. <coughs> um, but I like to wait for signs that we have uh, uh, broken. I'd like to see some closes above this red line, the four month moving average, before I would start taking long positions. Um, uh, one good note also is uh, for cycle timing, which has uh, been pretty good here on the gold, um, I've cycle timed with these blue vertical lines here. And uh, these uh, correspond with peaks or valleys in the gold. Uh, so uh, this could be uh, lengthwise, uh, this could mean that, that this corrective phase is over. Uh, cycles are very important to watch, so let's keep an eye on that. Uh, but anyways, uh, so far nothing bullish about gold except that the cycle has played out and the corrective uh, uh, phases of gold have lasted around as long as, uh, as uh, we're here now uh, in the 20-month range. <coughs> so um, let's see what happens with the gold. Thanks for listening.